Hi, okay. Uh, hopefully this will be real quick. Um, as you may or may not know, uh, the uh, Philadelphia Eagles was the world champion football, American football team out of Philadelphia. Uh, won the Super Bowl and uh, usually as, as modern tradition has it when a team is like the, the, the Stanley Cup, you know, it's hockey or the, or the, the, the Major League Baseball or, you know, football, a bunch of other sports then usually the, 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 the White House uh, invites you to the White House, the People's House, you know, invites you to the White House and, uh, you know, you meet with the President, you take a little tour, blah, 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 and it's a photo op and all the rest of that stuff. Well, it seems as though uh, because of all the uh, course of this whole, uh, the whole thing that Colin Kaepernick started with the protests, you know, he protested first by um, by sitting down with everybody, to, but he, he talked to a veteran, which I'm a veteran too, and he's a veteran or combat veteran, I said, well, if you're gonna, if there's a distress or whatever, Harry, what we do is usually do is we take a knee. So Colin Kaepernick changed and took a knee and then, you know, started a whole thing two years ago. Okay, great. So it's a protest, you know, it's a silent protest, individual things, no, 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 no problem. Well, as uh, as they progressed, and they couldn't spin uh, the reason why he was taking the knee because of the condition of black people in America being shot down um, by by uh, race officers, police officers, whatever you want to call them, or somebody who's supposed to be up, up, uh, upholding the law for you know you know making justice for everybody. Well, anyway, they they go rogue all over the place. So that's what the protest was all about. Um, and, if, uh, and then, and then the, the White House or politicians got involved, and they said, "Oh no, you can't disrespect the flag." Then it goes from, you know, well, no, we're not disrespecting the flag. We're saying the flag has got to live up to, or the agents of the flag, you know, because you have to take an oath. They have to live up to, you know, whatever they say that they're going to do. Uh, but that, but as it keeps on spinning, you know, the the the, the, the team owners, you know, the, the football. Uh, the NFL, the National Football League owners who own these teams, they, I think it's like 32 teams, whatever it is, they, they got together and they said, no, this shouldn't happen. These are all white men, by the way. So they have the Players Association, you have the, the politicians, you have the, uh, the owners. Well, anyway, so things were dying out two years ago. Last year, some protests. And things are sort of dying out. Ka Colin Kaepernick still didn't get you know, signed to any team. I guess they don't really want to win. And so now we have the situation where the Philadelphia Eagles, who, uh, who didn't participate in the kneeling down, I think only one player stayed in the locker room. You know, for, you know, everybody else stands up and you know, put their head over the heart, I guess. I'm a veteran, so I can actually salute because that's what, that's what veterans can do. Um, you have a choice. You have a heart or you salute because you was in the military. In the military, you take an oath to, you know, to, to protect the country by, by, by enemies, foreign and domestic, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, I guess the football people don't take oaths. I don't know what happens with the police. I don't know if the police take an oath or whatever. The oaths are different than, than vows. The oaths are very serious. Um, in fact, I've only had two oaths in my life. That's for the, the, the military, which is to protect the United States, and the other one was for, um, oh, medical, because I was a medic and so you take the Hippocratic Oath, you know, so those two things, so those are the two oaths I ever taken in my life, and actually I abide by both of them, so kill people and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, what upset me about this whole thing, that's upset me, stuff that doesn't surprise me or upset me anymore, is that here it is, um, the owners then get together off season, you know, or just before the season starts, and they say, we're going to have a rule that you have to, you know, if you, you got to come on the field, well, if you come on the field, you have to stand and salute the flag, you know, and if you don't want to do that, you can stay in the locker room. That's the owners talking. They didn't, they didn't converse with anybody, they didn't talk to players, they didn't talk to Players Association, anybody. That's the thing. These people, white guys get into the room and I guess they, you know, voted this, and so I guess some people must have sustained, but there was no votes against it, so that's, so, so that's what the thing goes, so they announced this. And so now people are going like, what? But things were dying out, why do you want to bring this up, you know? Well, it is, okay, well, fine, all right, you know. Now we have a situation where it's still, they still didn't talk about the, uh, the police brutality, or, or the fact that the, the, the peace officers, or race officers, or whatever, you, whatever they are, uh, they keep on killing people. They just keep on killing people. Uh, they got guns, people don't have guns. Da, 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 da. Okay, so, uh, so that's all dying down, but, uh, uh, so, but they, they keep on spinning about the flag, and the flag has nothing to do with this, you know, it has to do with uh, a form of protest. So they're saying you can't protest by kneeling, they. Now you say you can't protest 
at all, you know, or you, you, you're not in sight of, of cameras or whatever, you can't protest like that. So now you have people telling the people how to protest. Wait a second, it's a protest. You can't tell somebody how to protest. You know, if, if, if here in South Africa, you know, you, you protest, you throw some burning tires in the, in the thing, you know, they, they, you know, because of the traffic safety, we're in Cape Town. There's only so many arteries that lead, lead, lead in and out of Cape Town. So you throw some tires on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the and, and one or eight and two, then you tie up traffic and you know, just everything stops, you know, because only two, two arteries getting in, two major uh, uh, transportation hubs getting into in, in, into Cape Town. So you, that's a protest, you know, so you can't tell some people, you can tell them don't burn tires against law, but you know, it's a protest. So these folks are not doing any violent thing, they're doing this sound protest. Okay. But here's what upsets me about the whole thing. Now you have the the, uh, the, the white owners telling you you, you can't protest, uh, you have the uh, political politician uh, uh, talking about you have to respect the flag, not to do the protest, blah, 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 blah. But all that stuff, I say, I will leave all that stuff alone. Most of the, most of the, a lot of the players, majority of the players in the National Football League, I'm talking about the Greg Work players, they are, they're black, you know, so it's a big issue. But here's where I would depart. Now, last year, uh, when uh, Trump said something about, you know, these, these sons of a bitches should be, uh, executed his exile or whatever he said whatever stuff that you know i don't pay attention to trump because he just blah blah blah, blah. i mean he doesn't just blah 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 he writes policy but people listen to the blah blah blah, blah while he's writing policy but this with the other hand you know doing all kinds of nefarious things worldwide and even in the countrywide and then meanwhile you, you everybody's wallowing in his tweets and all the rest of that stuff bad idea well when he said that let me say this let me just talk to I don't want to just talk to the brothers, but I have to talk to the brothers. This is a brother thing. This is a real black male thing. Okay, since we're dealing with sports, it's all black males. When this person, uh, 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 Donald J. Trump, the President of the United States, said, these sons of a bitches, what, and Colin Kaepernick's mother says, you know, uh, she, she responded, you can look up her response. It's a, it's a, because he was adopted, so it's a doctor mother said this. But here's how I would say. Everybody knows, but most of these, most of, a lot of uh, football players come through impoverished traditions and come through the ghetto, the so-called ghetto projects, or whatever you want to call it. We always had this thing, you know, you 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 you'd be running a game, you know, you'd do some cutting contests, you know. When I say I don't mean cutting, not it's like you no know, verbal, you know, playing the dozen. We call it playing the dozen, this kind of thing. Everything's going cool. So you bring up somebody's mama. Now when you bring up somebody, now they might escalate to a fist fight, you know, you get down, you know, blah, 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 hey, hey, boom, 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 talk about my mama, boom, 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 okay. So when uh, Donald J. Trump, the President of the United States, whoever else, says to you, sons of a bitch, now, he talked about your mama, because you're the son of a bitch, a bitch is a female dog in heat, he called your mama a female dog in heat, if I was a NFL player, which I'm not. Uh, hey, that's the first time I said, look, my mama's not a female dog in heat. You wanna talk about my mama? Let me talk about your mama. I run the whole mama jokes, you know what I mean? And I would keep on talking about people's mama, all these white people, the white owner's mama, to everybody wanted to. You retract that or you just leave us alone. And, or you, you do the right thing, get justice. You know what I mean? Get rid of these police officers. A few right now, please. Get rid of all these police officers that are basically race, race soldiers, race warriors, race whatever man warriors. They're race chumps because they got to come in packs. You know what I mean? Or come heavily armed. You know, a lot of this, a lot of this, a lot of this stuff. A lot of some of this not smart, not, but some of the people they actually went into the military. They get out with all kinds of problems. They put, get into the police force where they was in the military. There's no other jobs for them. So you're going to be a police presence in your in, in, in a community that's not they're not a community that you live in because you're patrolling them. Okay, you see what the thing is. So, so that's my big beef right now. Don't tell people. You can't tell people how to protest, how not to protest. It's a protest. But more importantly than that. How are you going to let somebody call your mama a female dog in heat? Just some thoughts from me. T. From the Patterson's taking the trenches to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.